Hello and welcome. I am so glad you have joined us for this tour of UNA's new Listening Level 5 course. Level 5 is the highest level that students must pass before entering academic lessons at UNA. In Listening 5, students learn discourse cues, targeted listening skills, academic vocabulary, and much more. Today, I will take you on a very brief tour of one of our exciting new modules. So let's take a look. This course is located in a learning management system called Canvas. On the left side, you see a navigational menu. In the center, you will see the content of the page you are on. To the right, you will have a to-do list of assignments. We have designed the course so that you will navigate through the modules and through the lessons using the modules list located at the bottom of the page. Before we look at some of the modules, I'd like to show you some important pages. The first is the Start Here page. On this page, you will find some instructions of things you need to do before beginning the course. Make sure you read this carefully and complete everything prior to beginning. The second important page is the syllabus. A syllabus is basically a contract, an agreement between the instructor and you, the student. By taking this course, you are agreeing to the terms of the contract. The syllabus tells you important information, such as course objectives, topics covered, how you will be graded, and much more. Make sure to read this document carefully and refer to it throughout the course. There's also an instructor contact page, which gives you your instructor's details and various ways to contact them. And finally, there is a course citation page. This simply cites any resources that are used in this course. In Listening 5, the modules list is the most important. This course is designed with eight modules, or eight units. You can see them listed here on the home page. The best way to access the modules is through the home page. It is not good to navigate the lessons by following assignments. You will miss valuable information if you do not go through the modules in order. The modules are where the instructors will teach you the skills you need to become a skilled listener. Module 1 is an orientation to listening. This module will be a little bit different because it contains instructional videos you will need throughout the entire course. Module 1 is an important reference tool. You can look back on it from time to time as you complete different lessons. Each course will be led and facilitated by a UNA ESL instructor. That instructor will teach targeted listening skills through videoed lessons. They will also give audio and video feedback on student assignments. As well, instructors will have online office hours so that they will have a time to interact and engage with the students as they take the course. Now, Let's take a look at what a weekly module will look like for a student. From the home page, you will go to the modules list and click the module you're working on. The first page is the module overview. On this page, you will find an introduction and a welcome video. As well, you will find information about your lecturer in the Materials to Print section, you will find the listening skills, the note-taking strategies, and the vocabulary for this module. You can click on any of the icons to preview the documents. These documents are very important. We recommend that you go ahead and download and print these documents. You will use them throughout the lessons. At the bottom of the page, you will come to the Lessons portion. Let's take a look at one. Each lesson begins with an overview. This page lists the various steps and activities you will complete during the lesson. 
There's also a button that will take you back to the module home if you need to return. Once you've read the items, click Next to continue. You begin with a topic preview. Here you will watch a video and then answer a few questions to see what you already know about the topic. Once you do this, you will click Next. The next portion of the lesson is the vocabulary. We've created several items to help you study and learn the academic and the content vocabulary. There is a glossary that you can download and print for review. There's also an interactive PowerPoint that you can download and use to study. As well, the vocabulary has a video read by native English speakers so that you can practice listening to different American accents as you study. Once you have studied the vocabulary, you have two separate activities to complete. These activities will help you begin to recognize and learn the academic vocabulary for the module. When you are finished, you have completed Lesson 1. On Day 2, instructors will have a video that gives explicit instruction on that week's targeted skills. Instructors can also add slideshows, photos, and additional resources that will help engage the students and teach them what they need to know. You begin Lesson 2 with an overview page. You may read and scan this document to see what you'll be expected to do in Lesson 2. Once you're finished, click Next to continue. You now come to the vocabulary activity. The vocabulary activity helps you practice and deepen your understanding of the academic vocabulary. Once you're finished, you will click Next to continue. You have reached the Review and Print Materials page. These are the specific materials you will need for today's lesson. If you have not already downloaded and printed these documents, please do so now. The third page will be your instructor's listening video. This is the page where your instructor will put a video to teach you the listening skills for this module. Once you have watched that video, you will have a chance to practice those skills. Lesson 2 also contains videos to teach you the note-taking strategy for this module. You will watch the videos your instructor places here, and then you will also have a chance to practice to learn the note-taking strategies. In days 3 and 4, students will listen to an authentic lecture from a UNA professor. They'll take notes, have interactive activities, and quizzes for listening and accuracy checks. Like other lessons, you begin with a vocabulary activity, then you move on to print and review any materials you'll need while you view and listen to the lecture. Next, there are some explicit instructions on how you will view the lecture for this module. Then you're able to listen to the lecture and take notes. After you have watched the lecture, you will use your notes on the listening cues and take a quiz to assess the skills that you are learning. Lesson 4 is very similar to Lesson 3, except Lesson 4 focuses on using the note-taking strategy while you view the lecture. After you have listened to the lecture and taken notes on the combined graphic organizer that is provided, you will take a quick quiz to check your comprehension of the lecture. At the end of Lesson 4, you will have one chance to finalize your notes on the lecture. The week will end with a Canvas assessment that covers both academic vocabulary and the targeted skills for that week. Lesson 5 begins with an overview of the assessments. In Step 1, you can review the lessons. You can look back and review the skills and strategies you have practiced in this module. In Step 2, you will take the test. On this page, you can click the tabs to see exactly 
what you will be tested on. After you have taken the test, you will upload your notes. Remember the important documents you downloaded and took your notes on? Here, you will take a picture of your notes and upload them for your instructor to grade. We've provided some example pictures of what your notes might look like. Once your notes are uploaded, you have reached the final step of the module. You will complete a speaker evaluation. You'll think critically about the speaker you heard in this module and give your feedback. I hope you have enjoyed this short tour of Listening 5 and that you now have a better understanding of what UNA's Academic Listening 5 course looks like. Before we go, I'd like to introduce you to a few of our ESL instructors. Hi, I'm Zainab Harkness. I am an ESL instructor and the ESL program coordinator here at the University of North Alabama. I'm so glad you're joining us. Hi, my name is Daniel Fike, and I'm an ESL instructor here at the University of North Alabama. Hi, I'm Ms. Reese. I'm an ESL instructor here at UNA, and I look forward to teaching you in this class. Hi, I'm Katie Lockrist, and I'm an ESL instructor here at the University of North Alabama. And I am so excited to have you in our course this term and to be your instructor. Hope to see you soon. Hi. I'm Jennifer Awad, and I'm an ESL instructor at UNA. I look forward to having you in one of our courses. On behalf of all our ESL instructors, we thank you for taking this brief tour of Listening Level 5, and we look forward to having you join our course. Thank you. Mm -hmm.